I, I don't even buy my clothes in color blind, so my wife has to buy me. <laughs> but 10.15 in the morning, I pull in, and I'm thinking, where am I going to park here? I can't get a parking spot. And I stood there for quite a while, and when I was leaving, I, I saw something I haven't seen since the mall opened. People waiting for you to pull out so they can get your spot. And uh, everybody that came up to me uh, during, the, during the time I was there was saying, this is great, this is what we want, this is what we need, this, we should have this every weekend, why don't they do this every weekend? And, uh, you know, John Leslie has shared some of his vision with me, which, you know, we can't speak about until it materializes, but I said, don't worry, this guy's gonna make this work, we're doing everything we could to help him, and uh, I, I can't thank him enough. I, I had to do two ribbon cuttings on Friday, and both of the downtown, and both of them said to me, because of the excitement that's going on in the downtown, and because of the mall, they chose to put their business in the downtown. Uh, so I think this is just the beginning. <laughs> now, I, I started to write, I, I usually don't write when I'm gonna speak, you know, I, I rather just speak for the heart, but I started to write down what I was gonna talk about today. And it, and it got to be so much, and I started thinking to myself, they're going to be sitting there saying this, you know, is he done yet? <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to say, when, when I first, before I took office, uh, I thought, you know, this is a monumental task I have going on here, and I can't do it alone. It's got to be a joint effort. So the first person I reached out to was Bob. I thought there needs to be a really good relationship between the chamber and the city of Scranton. And so, uh, luckily for me, we seem to click, we work very well together, and we've been partners in just about everything we've been doing uh, from day one. Then I started to think, there's some relationships that the city needs to mend that were a little bit strained over the last couple of years, and some relationships that aren't, aren't there that need to be there. Uh, and I, I looked at the, some of the negatives as well as the positives, so I, I never miss an opportunity to say my three children graduated from the University of Scranton. Uh, so I went to the University of Scranton, and, I, and I'm proud to say I believe we have, a, we have a really good working relationship. Even some of the negative things, I mean, we went over, and we all know St. Patrick's Day brings some problems. Uh, so we went over and we discussed that, and uh, I, I think we're on solid ground with the University of Scranton, and, and they've been very helpful, and we thank you for that. Uh, the other one I reached out to, I didn't really need to, but they more or less reached out to me. My, my son graduated from TCMC, and every event they hold, I try to attend because I'm so proud that we have a medical college in, in our in our downtown. Uh, and if I if I miss somebody, uh, please forgive me. But uh, Lackawanna College, been big supporters. Guy Singer, uh, Allied uh, Allied Services, just so so many. Spent tomorrow, uh, uh, Bob Dicker, you know, just just so many people. I see Alex is here, former councilman, very very positive. Uh, I we had a meeting with several people where. Uh, um, Cosgrove, John Cosgrove was there. But just so many, so many relationships that we've built and that I keep trying to build. And if I haven't reached out to you and you think I need to, please come and see me. Because it's it's a big task and I can't do it alone, but there's there's a real excitement about the city of Scranton. So let me just talk about some of the things that are in the plan that we've already done or are in the process of doing. One one thing that I thought is, you know, there's several businesses in the city of Scranton that have been here for years that went through the good times and a lot of the bad times. And so with the help of the AB, our director of OECD, we're gonna send out, for lack of a better word, an application uh, for people who would like to be recognized. Uh, the businesses that I wanna recognize maybe once a month or twice a month, just go out, give them a letter, tell them that we appreciate them being here. Uh, we understand it's a struggle sometimes in business, but we certainly appreciate you. But we thought, I can't just go and pick one business or other, so we're gonna ask them to apply. This way here we can pick the application and they'll be met. Uh, so that, that's something hopefully within the, the first quarter of this year will be in your, <laughs> possibly see me you know, a couple of times a, a, a month going out for business and just, just our attitude. Uh, you know, I, I, I think places that some people don't think about, like Ross Trulers, I know has been there since, since I, I was a kid. You know, Vona Pizza, and then we have some new businesses, uh, you know, like, like Van Lugers, and, Every time you drive by there, it's packed, and, and he has visions for other businesses coming in. So we're, we're going to try and do that. And then the other thing we looked at is um, we, we took on a very large uh, paving project. It was going to be over $3 million. And what happened was when we went out to bid for it, it, it came in much, much higher than we thought because the state had done a tremendous amount of paving this year. And the, the, the paving companies actually didn't even have enough equipment to finish the paving they were doing. They were running equipment. 
So it'll it'll pick up uh, in the beginning. We'll bid it out again in January so we can get the price that we need. And you're going to see streets in the downtown paved. I mean, how long has it been since you've seen streets in the downtown paved? And we're going to take a look uh, at doing some sidewalks in the downtown. Uh, also, I just spoke to somebody that uh, maybe we'll partner with the sewer authority and we're going to do something possibly up near Nayar with some sidewalks. So th that was one of the things. The other thing is uh, some of the businesses in the downtown, they say when the winter time comes and it gets dark out very early, they, they, they were a little bit afraid to leave their businesses. Some people carry money with them. So we have a dedicated full-time police officer in the downtown now. Uh, he's been riding around on the Segway, but the Segway broke right away, so we have to get a fix. <laughs> uh, I try to just, there's, there's so many things I'm trying to think, think of all of them that we think of. A big thing that we're going to do, and it's in the process, I believe the bids are in already, street lighting throughout the whole city. Uh, you know, we have old and antiquated street lights. Um, the cost of doing it, we will, there's, there's some of the bids I believe that will give us upfront money that will pay us, and then the money that was saved is how they would be repaid. But you're going to see the street lights, not only in the downtown, but possibly the entire city done over, uh, bring, bring everything up to date. There, there are just a few of the things that, that we have going on. Uh, and work very closely with Bob. Unfortunately, I tell you a quick story. Bob and I went down to WYOU, right? It was YOU, yeah. And we thought we were going to be on this show. What's the name of the show? Yeah. Yeah, PA Live. Uh, we got about 30 seconds, and the cheerleaders got about three minutes, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I thought he was going to go on another question, and they got up and left, and we were done. But, uh, <laughs> we, we, we've been really working hard together. Uh, and I, I think one thing is to credit the city council is that I've had a, a relatively good relationship with city council. They, they understand the situation that we're in, and we're trying to work very hard. I see Wayne Evans is here for city council. We're trying to work very hard together. We have to change the impression in the financial community of what they have with the city. Um, I hope I don't get in trouble for telling this. I've been out to New York City a couple of times to financial institutions, large firms. Like, uh, the guys wearing suits that probably cost more than my car. And we're, we're in this we're in this huge boardroom, and we're trying to get credit names. There's there's no name we have. To, we're below junk bond status. We don't even have a rating. And what's in front of him? is minutes to a formal council meeting when there was animosity between the mayor and council. They didn't want nothing to do with that. They, they, that's, that image has to go away. And I even asked council, I said, you know, we're not going to agree on everything all the time. But don't blurt it out on TV. You know, yell at me in my office or something because the financial community is not going to have anything to do with us if we don't have a mayor and a council that can get along. And I, I was just shocked to see that they, they had minutes to a council meeting there. I, I still can't believe it. So I, I'm, I'm fortunate that I have a, a council that is, is willing to work with me. Uh, there's several other things that have a whole list here, but I know Mr. O'Malley wants to speak, so. Uh, <laughs> I, I will sit down, but I, I want to thank everybody, because everybody in this room has been a part of this, and we're going to win, Bob, right? And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and I want to thank you. And I'm open at, at any time to any suggestions that anybody that, that Thinks they can help or want to help. I see Jesse from Neighbor Works here. Uh, I was fortunate enough to go out with him this summer. Uh, did a lot of nice things, a lot of nice houses. So uh, once again, thank you. We're going to move forward. We're going to win this thing, Bob. Right? <laughs> All right. Thank you.